Hello, this is Tori with Landio. We have a new 40.21 acre ranch in southern Colorado with road frontage, electricity, and amazing mountain views. This is the property highlighted here in green on the interactive map. I'm going to show you these rock formations and trees that are on the property right here. And this is along the north portion of the property. This is the road that runs along the entire north boundary of the property where there's some curvature and a little hill. This is a photo looking west along the road. This is Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. And there you can see the electricity lines and poles already in place. There's also underground telephone and internet lines. And here the rock formations and the trees. You can also see them in this image here. This is looking towards the northwest. And this is actually a ground image on the property looking north, south of the rock formations. You can see in the background the electricity lines there. And now we're standing east of the rock formations looking towards the west. You can see Greenhorn Mountain in the background. It's a unique geological feature that adds a lot of character to the property. This is an image looking east along the road. You can see again how the road curves along the north boundary. This is all along the north boundary of the property. And this creates a hill there. And then here are the trees and the rock formations on this north portion of the property. Recently we had the property professionally surveyed and staked. Here we are zoomed in on the survey. It's tracked 19B, 40.21 acres. And the elevation on the property is around 5,780 feet. And here's a path of seasonal water flow indicated on the topographic map. You can see there's some contour to the property which gives it nice character. And here we have a contour map that shows those lines of the elevation change. You have roughly a 40 foot elevation change from the east boundary of the property to the west boundary of the property. And you can see how these lines curve around and give it a rolling terrain, which also adds a lot of nice character in addition to the rock formations and the trees on the property. While at the same time, not hindering or obstructing the amazing mountain views. And this is a photo looking towards the west along the road. Here are the trees and the rock formations. At the end of the road, there's a cul-de-sac there, which means there's no through traffic, which is gonna keep it nice and private. Yet you have great access. There's a neighbor at the end of the street there. Here's some survey markers on the property. Here are the underground telephone and internet lines. This is an antelope near the property when our photographer was out there. And this property is located in Game Management Unit 128, which is rich in native wildlife, including bighorn sheep, black bear, elk, mule deer, white-tailed deer, pronghorn antelope, and mountain lion. Here's some fresh wildlife tracks on the property. And from the property, you're only about two miles from 6,000 acres of BLM land with the Cucheris River and Canyon. This is an actual photo of the 6,000 acres of BLM land. You can see the Cucheris River right here winding through the bottom of the canyon. There are some areas where the elevation change from the top of the canyon to the bottom is over 500 feet, which creates these really dramatic views. And this BLM land is desirable for hunting, hiking, horseback riding, wildlife watching, photography, and other types of outdoor recreation. In addition to the 6,000 acres of BLM land just east of the property, you're also in close proximity to over a million acres of public land, including national forest land, which is all green here. And there are tens of thousands of acres of additional BLM land, all shaded yellow, along with state parks and state wildlife areas, which are shaded blue. Over here in purple, you have the Great Sand Dunes National Park, which has the tallest sand dunes in North America. From the property, only about 25 miles, which is roughly about 40 minutes, from Walsenburg, Colorado. Walsenburg is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. Walsenburg has a population around 3,200. Walsenburg, there's multiple grocery stores, building and lumber supplies. There's a hospital in Walsenburg, restaurants, professional services. About an hour and 10 minutes from Trinidad to the south, which has a population around 10,000. There's a Walmart super center in Trinidad. And then you're about an hour and 20 minutes to Pueblo. Pueblo has a population of over 110,000. Pretty much anything you need, you can find in Pueblo. And this is Interstate 25. Interstate 25 is also only about 35 minutes from the property. And Interstate 25 takes you south down to Trinidad and then down into New Mexico. And it'll take you north up to Pueblo, then Colorado Springs, and then on into Denver. Here's some additional photos of the property, which has a beautiful rolling terrain and offers these big sky views and great access with a quarter mile of road frontage along the entire north boundary. And these are all name roads. You can see this is Bustos Canyon Road. And you can see the no outlet sign here indicating that this is a, the end of the road, the cul-de-sac, so you're not going to have the through traffic. It's going to be very private. From this intersection right here, you're only about a mile to the property. And there in the background, you can see Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. It was a little overcast in this photo, so it's kind of hard to make out Greenhorn Mountain, but you can see it. You have amazing views of Greenhorn Mountain on a clear day. These are Google Earth terrain views. This is south of the property looking north. Now we're southeast looking northwest. You can see the rock formations and trees that are pointed out here. Now we're east of the property looking west. 
Here's Greenhorn Mountain in the San Isabel National Forest. Now we're northeast looking southwest. You can see Blanca Peak, which has an elevation of over 14,000 feet. This is Silver Mountain, Rough Mountain, and Mount Mestis. Over here you have the Spanish Peaks. Now we're north of the property looking south. Now we're northwest looking southeast. You can see the Cucheros River and Canyon pointed out here. And this is another image that gives you a really good indication of just how close that 6,000 acres of BLM land with the Cucheros River and Canyon is from the property, which is an amazing attribute. Several of the nearby landowners have developed their properties to varying degrees. This is a neighbor at the end of the row. They have a main home, then they have some accessory buildings. There's another landowner that has a main home, some accessory buildings. And this is common. A lot of the landowners will have a main home, a workshop, a, a barn, a corral, a guest house. Here's a neighbor to the south. They have a log home on their property, and they have a corral here. They have horses on their property. And here are some satellite images of the neighbors. You can use the property recreationally, seasonally. You can live there full time. The minimum dwelling size for a site-built home is only 1,200 square feet and then only 1,000 square feet for a manufactured or mobile home. From the property, only about 41 minutes to Walsenburg, Colorado. Again, Walsenburg is the county seat of Horfano County where the property is located. This is the Spanish Peaks Regional Health Center in Walsenburg where you'll find the Level 4 Trauma Center. There's the Colorado State Veterans Home, specialty medical clinics. Here's the lumber and building supplies in Walsenburg. There's multiple grocery stores. This is Main Street where you'll find shopping and dining. K-12 Public School in Walsenburg, a golf course. About 49 minutes to the Lathrop State Park, which is roughly 1,600 acres. There are two lakes at the Lathrop State Park where you can enjoy fishing, boating, swimming, water sports. Also hunting, horseback riding. This is a trail map for the Lathrop State Park. About an hour from La Vita, which is a popular tourist destination. Just over an hour and seven minutes from the Bedito Cone, Greenhorn Mountain, and the San Isabel National Forest. You can see just how lush and beautiful the San Isabel National Forest is. Also desirable for hunting, hiking, and outdoor recreation. You're about an hour and 13 minutes to Trinidad. Trinidad has a population around 10,000. This is Main Street in downtown Trinidad where there's shopping and dining and professional services. There's a Walmart Super Center in Trinidad. About an hour and 20 minutes to the Trinidad Lake State Park in the 800-acre Trinidad Lake. You're about an hour and 21 minutes to Pueblo. Pueblo has a population around 110,000. And then just west of Pueblo, you have the Lake Pueblo State Park, which is 4,600 surface acres. You're about two hours from Colorado Springs. Colorado Springs has a population around half a million. Then you're about three hours from Denver. Denver and the surrounding metropolitan area have a population over a million. There's an international airport in Denver as well. We have this amazing 40.21 acre ranch with electricity, road frontage, and mountain views, priced at only $34.9. All the property details are listed here on our website. The property taxes are only $14 a year. There's just a $200 a year annual assessment. It's a maintenance fee that goes to maintain the 26 miles of private roads throughout the community. Here there's more information about the utility providers. We have the distances to all the nearby cities and points of interest along with links where you can find more information about those locations. Here are the GPS coordinates and links where you can open up those GPS coordinates on a Google map. There are over 170 images in this interactive map. If this property fits what you're looking for, please go to our website and click on this Buy Now button. What that'll do is add a deposit of $499 to your cart. Then click Checkout. Once you click Checkout, this window will appear where you can enter in all your information and then continue through the checkout process. Once the checkout process has been completed, this Buy Now button automatically changes to out of stock. Only one person can place a deposit on a property. We only have one of each property available. And we sell our properties on a first come first serve basis. So if this property does fit what you're looking for, please go to our website, click on the Buy Now button, complete the checkout process. We'll receive an instant notification that your $499 deposit has been placed. We'll then take the property off the market, send you over a simple one page purchase agreement and arrange for the balance of payment. The remaining balance may be paid by wire transfer, cashier's check, ACH bank draft, credit card, debit card, or any combination of these methods. We make the whole process super simple and it can be completed in as little as a day. Your $499 deposit is credited towards your purchase and then we cover all of the closing costs. There are no other commissions or fees so the total purchase price for this 40.21 acre property is only $34.9. If you have any questions, our phone number is on the top of every page of our website. That number is 713-597-7670. That number also receives text messages. We have a live chat feature here on our website where you can communicate with us in real time. If we're not available for whatever reason, please send us a message or respond to your next availability. You can also fill out this contact form here on our website or send us an email directly. Our email address is hello at landio.com. And we sincerely appreciate you taking the time to visit our website, to look at our properties, to watch our property videos. 
and then to share our properties and our website with all of your family, friends, and colleagues. We're grateful for the opportunity to serve you. Again, if you have any questions, please reach out to us anytime. Thank you and God bless.